Hey guys, what's up? Look at this. It's gonna be interesting. Secretary Blumenthal knows as well as you and I do that inflation does not come from trade unions. That doesn't mean that trade unions aren't grasping. Of course they are. But they don't produce inflation for one simple reason. They do not own a printing press on which you can turn out green pieces of paper. The only such printing press is in Washington. I say printing press. Of course, in the modern age, we do it in a more sophisticated way. We use bookkeepers and accountants and computers. But it comes down to the same thing. Inflation is made in Washington because only Washington can create money. And any other attribution of in, to other groups of inflation is wrong. Consumers don't produce it. Producers don't produce it. The trade unions don't produce it. Foreign sheiks don't produce it. Oil imports don't produce it. What produces it is too much government spending, and too much government creation of money and nothing else. So I think you can see wherever this is going, right? I mean, think about it. I thought in the beginning when they, they print money, they're just replacing money because they're replacing dirty money. No, it's just that they just don't have enough money. They need to buy stuff for some odd reason. And then the value of the money keeps disappearing. You can't print money to buy stuff. Of course not, because the value of it, it's normalized. And then suddenly nothing. <laughs> I mean, so when we're having this discussion, it's important to dispel some of those who say, well, it's the government spending. No, it isn't. The government spending is doing the exact reverse, reducing the national debt. It is not inflation. You're usually using the money to give other people, to convince other people to build a specific thing. I can get it. But the thing that you're spending it on, do you get the money back? Or it's just to give you the moral point like you're the police that's going to solve everything. There's so much you can do to help people here. But you're always spending the money outside. And I'm like, do you get money out of it? And do you get money out of it personally? Or are you spending it on your government? There comes a point that if are gonna be like, maybe you guys suck. Maybe you guys waste so much money. And then again, you raise your own freaking salary. Now that everybody can do their own research, we can actually confirm because everything is documented. And I'm like, dude, um, you have to do a better job. And that's not by saying misinformation. Okay, that, no, you can't do that. And right now we're in a time that we can see everything, we can remember everything, and everybody has receipts on your promises. And you can be saying, I'm sick of this stuff. We have to talk about it because the American people think the reason for inflation is government spending more money. Simply not true. They keep saying that they keep seeing me at this disco dancing with other women that they're sure that I've cheated. But hey, that's simply not true. You can't say that. You have to bring like a good reason. What do you mean with that? Oh, you understood me wrong. Then explain to me. Well, you're going to understand me wrong because you're asking the wrong question. Then. It's just simply not true. I have to go home, sleep, and trust you? Nobody does that. Never forget what we've accomplished together so far. And by the way, the American people just trying to stay above water don't understand this. You tell them what the American Recovery Act was, they look at you like, what are you talking about? I can actually use that against my wife too. Honey, never forget how much we have accomplished together. That's what cheaters say to their... <laughs> oh my God. I mean, you can keep saying that. People are not feeling that. But the other part about the whole situation is if you keep telling people that they don't understand what you're doing, there comes a point they're gonna be like, explain it to me. Because if you're telling me that you can't explain it to me in a way, it's like you're talking to children. So just wonder why do they think black people and other people from other races don't know how to vote, don't know how to use internet and all this stuff. This is a normal clip and this is how they think at the university about people. Do you have an opinion on voter ID laws? Uh, yeah, they're usually pretty racist. I think voter ID laws are a way to perpetuate racism. Would you say they're, would you go as far as to say they're, they're, those laws are racist? For sure. Uh, because they're less likely to have state IDs. Minority voters are less likely to have the kinds of IDs that have been, um, described or required. These type of people don't live in areas with easy access to DMVs or other places where they can get identified. Do you carry ID? Yes, I do. Do you know anybody, who, any black person doesn't carry ID? No. Everyone that I know has an ID. Why would they think we don't have ID? <laughs> That's a lie. 
say that. Do you have ID? Yes. Because I have my ID and my friends have their ID. Everybody that I know have ID. Like, yeah. Is it a weird thing to even say that? Yes, it is. Yes. That's the only thing I brought with me. Those are legit IDs. I heard a lot also that uh, black people can't figure out how to get to the DMV. Really? Is that, is that, what does that say to you? I know it's that. But I'm These people actually think you're stupid and that you need them. Even the government treats you like that. <laughs> I don't want the government to treat me like dumb person. Are you freaking kidding me, bro? So even if you're like, yeah, but not everybody thinks like that. Really? So Ukraine is a country in Europe. It exists next to another country called Russia. Russia is a bigger country. Russia is a powerful country. I'm sorry. That is how I explain the country to my child, to my three-year-old child not an adult and you keep denying there is no inflation that started way back when you became president but then you're like you know what this inflation is the problem of putin now when the war started when it was going up way long before look at this how people are reacting man texas it's four dollars and 19 cents a gallon let's go talk to texans and see what they think about these prices they're high real high it's absurd i went to get gas this morning and the guy was inside I was like he was about to change it as i was getting gas <laughs> I was like, man am i gonna get the old price or the new price the gas prices i mean we gotta get around we gotta drive so i mean yeah. the gas prices gonna go up god damn you know i stay 20 miles from him god damn me 20 miles it's chris and rock on pay four goddamn dollars look at that you turn the goddamn <laughs> I mean, dude, I know it's not a laughing matter. It's not. But if you said the pipeline is bad because our oil is dirty and you want the oil from Russia and they're the only one that can provide it, of course the price is going to stay high. You call people to give me oil. They don't even pick up the phone. It's an emergent call. The, the mightiest country on the world, USA. And they don't pick up the phone. And now you go to freaking Venezuela. Next. You're giving even the worst of the worst people that are a real dictator power and money. President's statement blames the Putin price hike. Are you guys just going to start blaming Putin for everything until the midterm? Make no mistake, inflation is largely the fault of Putin. Yeah, sure, bro. But let me show you somebody that doesn't follow the code and tells you the truth. Larry Summers an Obama economist and the Clinton Treasury Secretary. This is a grave problem. The president was wrong to blame uh, this month's number on Ukraine. This is a consequence fundamentally of an overheated uh, economy. Today, President Biden responding, saying he's fighting to bring down prices, blaming inflation in large part on what he calls Putin's price hike. But prices surged last month almost entirely before Russia invaded Ukraine, and inflation has been soaring above 5% since last May. They are the mouthpiece of their own downfall. That's all I'm saying. And look, boom. As you can see here, this seems to be beautiful. But then again, I'm like Kamala Harris. I know you have a point, but you have a point for a very wrong reason. But anyway, I just wanted to point this out. The more research I do, the more I realize that um, I didn't even know printing money was a thing. And now I realize government suck, man. <laughs> I have to try to make my kids happy and leave something for them so they can enjoy their life. And I know not everybody is that lucky. But then again, I didn't have a mom, I didn't have an eye, and I was super skinny, and it wasn't that alpha. Guess what? I survived. Nobody helped me. And guess what? Because nobody helped me, even the doctor say with my MS, I'm not allowed to get therapy because you have everything you have at home. You're so freaking po positive. So... Your bad experience in the past made you a strong person. I'm gonna give that to my kids. But anyway, I can just talk too much about this. I just wanted to make this video and let me know what you guys think, okay? Remember to like, share, hit the bell, notification, subscribe, and see you guys next time. Peace. Don't get me wrong, my boss a guitar bong. Put the fire na mi blonde, kush hash purple skunk, creo yo golombichi jam jam, dur loketa verdeta welcome. Demi de mi a tu menisha diva.